Thank you. Uh, let me uh, acknowledge the media uh, this afternoon and uh, Excellency, uh, Australian High Commissioner, uh, Mr. John Fix and uh, Excellency, the New Zealand High Commissioner, uh, Mr. Uh, Jonathan Kerr, uh, on behalf of the Fiji government, uh, as Minister responsible for disaster management, uh, let me again uh, acknowledge uh, Australia and New Zealand uh, for the assistance that uh, we are here to receive uh, this afternoon. Again, it's uh, extraordinary times, uh, not only for Fiji, but for the Pacific. I know that uh, at the same time, New Zealand and Australia are also fighting, fighting their own battles against uh, COVID-19. But for us here in Fiji, we have these two major uh, catastrophic events uh, at the same time. We have been... Uh, um, fighting against uh, COVID-19 for the last few months uh, and of course lately uh, TC Herald. Uh, this is again um, the time where we uh, come together as uh, Abu Bale uh, and as families and I on behalf of the Fiji government and indeed uh, grateful uh, for the assistance that uh, I'm here to receive on behalf of the Fiji government. Please uh, do convey back to Canberra and uh, Wellington respectively. Uh, our gratitude and of course uh, let me assure you that uh, uh, what uh, we receive today uh, will be pushed to the areas where they are badly needed both uh, in our efforts against uh, COVID-19 and of course for uh, TC Herald uh, as well. Uh, for TC Herald particularly uh, we are doing our best now uh, to stabilize the situation in Fiji uh, we have uh, people on the ground, particularly in the uh, four major uh, divisions, uh, in the Northern Division, in the Western Division, and of course the Central and the Eastern Division. The major focus now for TC Herald is in the Eastern Division, where we have uh, uh, hundreds of, uh, of, um, of uh, government officials together with uh, four vessels that are chartered, and of course uh, in the Western Division we have two government vessels that are also dedicated to serve uh, our people in the maritime islands of the, the coast uh, of the Western Division. Again, the focus is on um, uh, the essentials, particularly water, uh, hygiene and sanitation. Uh, of course, we are mindful of the need. Uh, if we need to go back to school, uh, that is the education need. Shelter uh, is important, food security, uh, and of course, uh, the the essential services uh, in the, the rural areas and that is the focus for us uh, as we speak uh, and of course with this assistance that we are receiving today uh, it will uh, be uh, pushed uh, to the divisions immediately and uh, we are hopeful that it will bring a lot of relief uh, to the people uh, who are out there. At the same time we also have some uh, challenges in uh, health issues particularly uh, in uh, Diseases as, uh, uh, such as uh, leptospirosis, uh, dengue and typhoid, we are watchful over that as well. We've had a few cases of uh, leptospirosis from Kandabu Island, but at the same time we are monitoring the other parts of Fiji. This is the time where we have most of vector-borne and um, related diseases. And the 
health focus is uh, on us trying to, co to contain this as well. Again, on behalf of the Fiji government, thank you once again uh, for this, uh, uh, this uh, assistance and uh, uh, may I, on behalf of your Fijian Wubale, extend to you once again uh, our gratitude and appreciation. Thank you uh, very much, Minister, and can I acknowledge Minister Usamate, who's here as well. Three months ago, uh, Minister Seri Ratu and I were here to farewell the RFMF uh, Buller Force, who are incidentally flown to Australia by the New Zealand Air Force. And I've said publicly since then on a number of occasions that Australia owes Fiji an enormous debt of gratitude for the uh, contribution that the RFMF Buller Force made in fighting our bushfires. Well, today, that's the first down payment on the debt that we owe Fiji. And both New Zealand and Australia have today brought in equipment to help those who have been uh, had lost their homes and livelihoods as a consequence of uh, TC Harold. And we've also brought in uh, supplies and medicine to deal with the coronavirus, including PPE equipment and testing equipment. And I think this is the first of a couple of flights that will come from Australia. So as I said, we're very glad to be able to support, to repay the debt that we owe Fiji uh, for their help to us when we were facing a very dark chapter only a few months ago. So, Minister, thank you to you. Uh, thank you to my New Zealand counterpart. Thank you to Minister Usamate for coming out today. Um, and God bless you all. To acknowledge uh, Minister Sarah Ratu, uh, my Australian colleague, uh, His Excellency John Feeks, and Minister Usamate, and Director NDMO, Vasiti Soko. Um, there was some great imagery on the tarmac today. You had a Royal New Zealand Air Force C-130 Hercules, Royal Australian Air Force C-17, and with the unloading being managed by the Republic of Fiji military forces. And it's great imagery because it demonstrates the closeness and the collaboration of three countries working together seamlessly to respond to need uh, in Fiji and the wider region. New Zealand has been absolutely committed to supporting Fiji deal with the impact of TC Herald and it was just three months ago that I was standing at Walu Bay, Walu Bay with Minister Usamate. We're about to send off ships to uh, organised by NDMO to southern Lao who had just been hit by tropical cyclone Sarai and also Tino. Today the world three months later has changed tremendously. Everything you see being done today is being done with a COVID-19 lens and that's shaping the work that we will do as part of the cyclone relief and it's shaping the work that we will continue to do as we cooperate together, Fiji, Australia and New Zealand, to deal with COVID-19 and its impact in Fiji and also in the wider Pacific region. It's a pleasure to stand next to members of the Fiji government and with my Australian colleague and, and other Australian colleagues here today uh, as part of the effort that we all jointly undertake to support our neighbours in times of need. And we are focused very much on supporting those who are in the greatest need with food aid, with work through NGOs here in Fiji, uh, and with supporting in any way we can to get that assistance to the people who need it most. Anaka